Okay. Because boots are so good in this matchup. Like again, you don't need to win the lane. And even if they make them, the only way you win this game, this lane, is if Notus goes too deep, Kalista is too far, and you can burst him with the passive of the Brom. There is no I need to do damage kind of thing. It's because Brom passive will do damage by itself if you can get enough attack speed to proc it. That's all what you need to think about in this lane. Uh, nothing else really. So yeah, I would I would greet it, especially because now look, Kalista is pushing. She's pushing. She press B now. 318. Okay, now she's in base. So you have 30 seconds to push this into it to try to escort the wave. So you have a long time. Plus, again, if you have karma, I wouldn't do it. If you have Lulu, I should have bought I a call. I should have bought a call. Or even a call. Yes, even a call. Yeah, call, call is good here. Better than boots. Ideally, is boots call, most likely. What's going on, guys? Besides, here in today's video, we're gonna learn laney phase from a master 200 player. This guy got coaching because he actually wanted to get to challenger. So, in this coaching session, I'm gonna show you exactly what master to challenger players, what they do differently, and how to play in terms of trading, how to play in terms of wording. I guarantee you, if you watch this until the end, you're gonna see things that you actually never ever heard about in terms of wording trading positioning and other insane things so please make sure you watch this until the end go subscribe right now on the channel if you are educated man and you want to improve on this channel there are going to be a lot of videos for you so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out any video from this one enjoy but if they're leashing they're trolling because they're playing callista nautilus my yeah. plan my plan is to just try to i think i i think i was leaning towards the river like i don't, I don't know if you could see my clicks before yes, brom yes, gets yes. Hooked. yeah but the, pro the problem is that you're not communicating with your brom about a basic play and he's gonna get chunks for no reason like this play is so obvious that you should communicate with him as you can see he doesn't expect it. it it is what it is but you should you should have pinged like now you should ping the brush th two times in in the case that i ping him and he's walking out with me and i'm and i'm hitting the minion wave but I, i'm trying to play the riverside if nautilus Let's say that Nautilus just keeps walking at me. At you? Uh, okay. Yeah, like let's say let's say me and Brom are Brom's playing with me. We're starting to move towards the river in this in this just like a hypothetical, and Brom just walks or Nautilus walks through my minion wave once it, once the minions are fighting and just like tries to chase me into river. Okay. Can I? Do you think I can fight them there or do I have to? But is Brom in front of around? you? Yeah. Well, how does Brom work? Yeah, yeah. I guess you'd have to. Uh, but then. But then would that scenario be much different than like this scenario with yes. Brom? The, yes. The thing is, if Brom is if you're here and Brom is here and he hooks mm -hmm. with Nautilus and Brom cues in the air as the hook comes, he's instantly going to get CC to Nautilus. Okay. And you have the minions at level 1 with Jinx minigun. You're not weak. Okay, so it, uh, I was just making sure that me playing into the river is like the right thing yes. to do. If I so just, you okay. have a Brom, so if they come into you, it's always an even trade, like worst case. If not a good trade. If he hooks okay. Brom and then he gets his Q off and we hit the passive on him, it's always like even trade. So here it's happened. He's already going on the first target. That's fine. You put the word, the word is bad. Like here Kalista is boosted. You should like try to kite to the to the right, not to the left. And you should never put the word in the middle of the brush. It's extremely bad. Because if Nautilus is a human and Kalista is a human, you're playing in low masters, maybe diamond. So if Nautilus is here, he takes your word. We have no Q on the Brom. What stops Kalista from being here and taking your word with Nautilus? Especially because look where yeah. you angle it. Angle it in the middle of the brush. Like if this is a pro player, he usually does something like this. He either doesn't word or he words in that like weird position like here, you know, where if Nautilus is in the brush, he can't hit it or like here, you know. You put it in a very unpredictable place or you just put it really right angle. So this guy can't actually hit the word, you know. So, okay, so now if I let's say I don't like if I don't ward this bush, I mean they're like you said they could kill it if they were better players. Yes. If I don't ward this bush and Nautilus just sits in there, is my my Brom should protect the bush? No. Yes. Or yeah. Okay. Well, he shouldn't really protect the brush. He should really protect you. There is no brush. Like if if Nautilus if, if Nautilus is here, Brom is here, and they go on Brom, you lose. You want Brom to stay on top of you, and they go on you, and Brom tanks the hook, and you're there. You don't want him okay. to stay here or get control of the brush. There is no control in this lane. You're playing against Kalista Nautilus. You just have to try to uh, just survive and just take as much farm as you can and don't die. You guys have to play really close to each other. That's basically the plan. And here, I'm not saying don't word. Just don't word now because they have no hook. Look at this. Like they have, they are not going to go in. Like let him let him back off because he's going to pull off here. He's going to pull back because she took the minions. She's kiting back. So wait him to get out of the brush and you can word after if you really have to and he's going back to the brush. Then you go to the you go to push here. This is good. This is fine. He's trying to contest prior. You'll most likely not get it, but it's good that you 
you contest it and then now you try to kill the minions this is very good keep pushing keep pushing try to get it very very good very very good perfect this is extremely good very very good uh i can already say, see that you didn't communicate with the brom how we should be playing you can see what he's doing right now trying to poke with q instead of again all what he had to do is let nautilus go in and he's gonna queue the nautilus he's gonna focus the first target protecting you what he does is poking so the lack of communication with this brush he uses one potion for nothing it's a bit iffy again it won't lose you the game but it will make your lane phase harder the fact that you don't communicate with him okay then right here you don't level up anything that's good you can always go for the, the e okay i don't like that you go for w if this hit, if this hook hits you put e here right if this hook doesn't hit then you should be thinking about how am i gonna get this minion so you should get w but you should try to be a bit more patient because w is not bad per se it's just you did it you actually leveled it up before he before you knew that he hits the hook or not okay okay this is fine and then now you have to conceive you have to conceive nice try okay let's see graves is batting bot lane you're trying to like poke a little bit this is good and then now you're trying to pull back so the meaning i'm pretty slow then you went for the for this guy hmm good good played let's see let's see so i like the dodge i like the dodge here let's see if you used two things potion bef before the like as the fight actually go it goes committed and uh, heal very early before the ignite let's see if you did any of this let's see so you get queued you try to use long gun you beautifully dodge this very good here you don't have minigun you don't have minigun yeah, so it's like the yeah. first little thing well it's actually when pretty I, when when I play Jinx, that's one of my big problems. I cancel a lot of autos because I get used to like the minigun attack speed and I switch to the rockets or... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, like I, I, I tend to, like I mess up my Jinx micro often when I play that champion. Tell me how many I mean, points you have on her. That's on, that's my smurf account, right? On this one I have, how do you check? It's under collections, right? Yeah. Jinx, be. my mastery on Jinx is 14. Ah, okay. It's really, really low. It's really, really low. Like remember, yeah, I haven't against, played a lot of Jinx. Yes, you're playing against people that have 400, 300,000 points on their champion. So it's still, I would say it's normal, but yeah, it's something that you need to work on. So here, you dodge, that's good. Here you should just heal instantly. Okay. Because you know they will commit, because, I mean, this fight, it's either we die or they die. Like, there is no way out for Nautilus. Nautilus, Diwana, Galio, they never go in. Uh, they never go out. They only go in. Once they go in, they are in. Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett. Both transform into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. So heal insta heal because you know the if you really want to take heal then use it correctly and after you insta heal use your potion and then you start fighting them you see ignite if you use your heal it's over it, well it's not efficient used before the ignite and then here you use the long gun go on the first target then you swap for this guy i don't know why you don't heal early just because in case kalista flashes you want to get your auto off but sorry sorry what was that why i don't what sorry you that. should heal for movement speed oh okay yeah okay before the ignite first of all in case the ignite do you know how the ignite versus seal works or the not? ignite works yeah yeah okay you sure yes like uh, you mean the healing reduction from ignite is yes. that what you mean perfect yeah. yes so, and then heal you, you just need you just need the uh, like you see right now Okay, now when you see this, just heal instantly because you want to get this auto attack off. So two situations where I should have, I could have used heal twice and I didn't yes. use it on either situation. The potion okay. is not used as well here, so it's a, it's definitely starting to be a bit like there are so many things. And then now you hit, good, nice, you're kiting. That's fine, you get hooked here, but it doesn't matter because Brom is with you. That's how you should play, you should kite back. Then you see the guy coming here, very good, let's see what's going to happen. 
It already hit the closest target. Very good, very good. Then you press B. Did you want I, to recall here? No, I don't think I finished it. I think it was more just like a like a habit tap. I, I, I definitely don't finish it. Like there's no Perfect. way I can base here. Yeah. Uh, and me and Braum are still healthy enough. I still have flash. I yes. definitely don't think I base yes. here. Yes, you should never base here. Wave is very, very bad. You're going to lose the I wave. I lose way too much if I base here. Someone should have warded over the wall. I would ping Braum just in case they actually want to commit for this dive. Yeah. With Graves, it's impossible because it's Graves jungle. It is possible. Hit by that. Yeah. So let's see. You're gonna take this and let's see what you're gonna do after. Okay. Then just try to recall and then recall immediately. Okay. Well, did you think about pushing this wave? I thought about it, but uh, I don't think I don't think I have. I thought about pushing it, but I felt like Nautilus would just hold it, and I don't think that we could stop him if I pushed it. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, he's, he's staying he's staying right here so this is really good for him so you know he's always gonna pull and freeze the wave and uh, you're thinking that you're not really gonna be able to crush the only problem is that your back is garbage yeah it's terrible you have 500 gold and you have options you have 86 mana with 560 health and graves would be top lane like now you saw him top lane like five seconds ago so there is no way you're gonna die here plus Kalista recall you know this for sure since she's not here for like 10-15 seconds the thing is you really have to think about can she really can he really hold us? Because he's half HP Nautilus and we have Brom Jinx with PTA and he's flashless and no ignite. So okay. if he's trying to fight you, you remember what happened like last time when he goes on you? Let's see. Look at the Nautilus here. So he goes, you guys have no Q, no W, nothing. He hooks. Look at Brom. Okay. This is what happened. And if so he got chunked. 250 HP when you had zero mana and I want I want you to look at Brom exactly what Brom did here look at the Brom and look at his Q so look at the Brom look at the Brom he didn't hit anything oh, all he what he hit <laughs> was just auto attacking so you can yeah. push there because if Brom well Brom is not gonna miss the Q if he's melee with the with the note so you guys should risk it to push because if Brom and you stay for the escort you guys can do it and if they really have a freeze the thing is if they really have a good wave state on bot lane and then you recall you recall with 700 gold but if you recall now with 500 and they anyways have a wave that is good because let's be honest this wave is slow pushing into them so it's anyways yeah. bad so it's like you recall now and you the wave is bad and you have a kind of garbage recall or you have a little bit of a better recall but the wave is still bad but it's a a bit better still in a losing in a losing lane state like when we're when i'm playing against nautilus Callista and you base with 700 gold would you still double longsword or would you boots dagger pot uh boots dagger pot for sure yes okay because boots are so good in this matchup like again you don't need to win the lane and even if they make them the only way you win this game this lane is if Nautilus goes too deep Callista is too far and you can burst him with the passive of the brom there is no i need to damage kind of thing is because brom passive will do damage by itself if you can get enough attack speed to proc it that's all what you need to think about in this lane uh, nothing else really so yeah i would i would greet it especially because now look Callista is pushing she's pushing she press b now 318 okay now she's in base so you have 30 seconds to push this into it to try to escort the wave so you have a long time. Plus, again, if you have Karma, I wouldn't do it. If you have Lulu, I should have bought I a call. I should have bought a call. Or even a call. Yes, even a call. Yeah, call, call is good here. Better than boots. Ideally, is boots call most likely. And then you go in the lane phase. Yeah, I, I find sometimes too that I will take uh, random bases when I'm full HP, full mana, because my support's gone, and instead of just sitting in the bush and trying to collect the melee minion XP that's like dying while my supports in base i just uh i see yeah so it's a mistake that i've noticed in mind that i'm i'm not greedy not even greedy but i'm not taking what should be mine kind of in the I, game. See. I see i see i see i see i see so like i'll get like random times where the enemy adc hits level six before me because i just uh just bad base timings and things like that this is usually because of wave management so if you find yourself where your super roams and there is there are situations where there is nothing you can do on the bot lane 1v1 because the, the enemy etiquette carry is up level you always have to look two three four five waves before that happens and see what what you did like here for example now let's see how is your wave right now so they for some reason pushed it i mean it's anyways gonna slow push into them pardon so 
wave is slow pushing into them. Why would that be? Why is the sorry? Why is the wave slow pushing into yes, them? Yes. Yes. Oh, because I have more minions and they're on my side. Okay. So like right now, he hooked. You did this. That's fine. So like right now, you have basically a slow push going on right here. Yep. So what are they trying to do with it? Uh, I was trying. I'm trying to poke the the Callista on the slow push because I think if Nautilus tries to hook me in this minion wave with Brom, he dies. So I think I walk up with rockets and I'm trying to auto Callista and prevent her from pushing, pushing the lane. But I guess it could be kind of risky because right now I am I'm blind. I have no vision and I know that Graves just cleared top side. And the problem so. is that you can't really kill Nautilus at this point, right? Look at the items of the Callista. She actually has reasonable items. Well, she has a long sword, but remember. Kalista with a longsword compared to Jinx with a longsword. She is stronger. Yeah. She's just stronger because she's Kalista. She's just gonna put lots of spears. And yes, you're gonna do good damage on the Nautilus with the Brom passive, but you're not gonna kill him really. And Kalista, if she's gonna like proc, like get a lot of auto attacks on you, it's gonna be very difficult. And right now, a thing that you're not thinking about is your jungle. He, she is pathing bot lane, but this is not a wave that you can stack one more and then crush. Because you don't have time for that. And the reason why you don't have time for that is because at the moment you're playing a lane like this lane. If you want to slow push three waves, look at this. If you want to slow push three waves here, this big wave will anyways kill these minions soon. So when the next wave will come, the waves are going to be here. Yes, you'll have three waves, but the waves are going to be here. So the problem with that, is that right? Well, I, I don't even think the, like, I think this wave is so big that it'll just crash before, with, this wave will probably crash before the next wave comes regardless, won't it? If you last hit Or do you think it? I'll get, if I last hit, or will it just get stuck in front of the turret? Well, let's see what is the next wave. So now it's here. The next wave just respawned. So now the, mm -hmm. the wave is right here. So just to move from this wave to there it's 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 gonna give enough time for this wave to be here just to move you also have to do some last hits so from here to here is like what five seconds away yeah so i might get stuck in front of there so if the nautilus pulls the minions for like two seconds it's over okay so yeah right here i would just insta crush like insta crush because okay. if you can't if you don't do it now you would have to do it here and in this position right here it's too greedy. It's too close to their tower. And you're not yeah, going to be able to do anything. Especially okay. because you play a lane like this that is so volatile that you know that you're going to you're gonna get pranked like this. Okay, nice auto attacks. Then now you're super low. Stay in Fog of War, don't show. This is good. You get a kill. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I meant to have my rocket out there. But I, this is one See. of the times where I made a mistake. It's like in mechanics are very, very weak on Jinx. You would need more practice on Jinx. Like, look at this. Yeah. Uh, you move, you W, you get the kill. What should you be doing right now? Autoing Callista with my rockets. But she can just go on you. She could just kill me. I don't, I don't know what I should do. Then just push You should away. just run. <laughs> look at your HP. You have 290 yeah. HP. If this guy is going to Q I you, guess. auto E, you yeah. are really, really low. The group, what you're doing? This is this is what I mean. This is like one of the scenarios that I that I find myself in a lot as AD is that I, I die too often for for reasons like that. Like I just play too aggressive. Like I, I either play too aggressive or not aggressive enough. It seems like like I'm having some mechanical issues. They've been, I've had a, it's been better like the last 10, 15 games I played. But last week I was like when I recorded this I was struggling really bad with that. Or earlier this week. And also on champions that you have a lot of games on? Or only on Jinx? Uh, uh even even sometimes on champions I have a lot of games I on. See. I guess it's just uh it's just reading the the plays poorly. Yes, it's reading the plays poorly. And and something tells me that also the support understanding is not like advanced enough so you can kinda know how the matchup goes from their perspective. Yeah, yeah. I, I could agree on that. So there is also that. Hmm, interesting. I think you should do more reviews on yourself, like literally just watch your games more. Just so you can see these things and you can slowly work on them. So like this, you kill him and just run, run, run. Look at you. Look, there are like, it's not only one click. It's not only one click that you're doing. 
Do you, like, do you think that in this scenario that I even get to push the wave here, or do I just have to leave? Well, after you take this, I would type in the chat, help me push, and I would ping Diana. You need help from Diana. Okay. But, I don't remember if I do ping her, but uh, I was just asking in any case before yes, I know what it happens. Is. If she doesn't help, you have to just back off and you have to fake recall, stay in fog of war. Hopefully this Kalista will either push and recall or just recall instantly because she thinks the wave is coming into her and then you can actually push the wave. Okay. Right, so you have to like do fake recall because otherwise... So fake recall is basically you go in fog of war, you act like you want a base. If this Kalista is smart, she either pushes hard, which means you get free farm, or she recalls instantly because if you see this wave, it's a slow push into her. So it would be smart, depending on her goal, to let the wave come into her. After she finishes recall, you come and you crush the wave. That would be the smartest play. Of course, if Diana helps you, it's better that she's going to help you to push. But I don't know if Scuttle is up and I don't know how how like how like much gold she has and what she wants to do. Maybe she wants to invade, maybe she wants to do something else. So I don't know the jungle tempo, she only knows. And from what I can see on the minimap, I think she can help you to push. But some junglers prefer to do full clear, even though that will handicap your, your uh, gameplay. But if that's the case, you should just do the fake recall thing. And here you try to, like she tried to do this to zone yeah this diana was playing really i don't know if she was just zoning for me but uh, if for me it felt like she wanted to fight so yeah, yeah I mean, I... you're not winning this anyways even if she goes in it's Callista. she will not be ever be able to do more than this and mm -hmm. by the time that you're there you're gonna die against graves and Callista. <laughs> yeah. so all okay. what you had to do is push this way get this way pushed in like look at you you're getting too too confused about this play i like that you're i'm not saying don't hover her because it's solo i get it the people are stupid they make stupid decisions but <laughs> stay here push and then you e here when she wants to run for example or you double or maybe you could consider joining but not like staying here and, and staring at her yeah maybe just hitting the minions right now i could yeah. like i could have got probably four autos yeah. off on these yeah minions yeah there. exactly exactly same thing here look look, look. Same you're, thing. You're still hitting them yeah. You're too tunneled. And you're definitely going too deep. Like, look at this. Kalista has Q and she can jump. Like, this is the maximum you can get. It's like kind of yeah, how... Yeah. You don't want to get yourself here. You don't want to get yourself in the fight. All what you want to do is, in case something will happen and she'll magically burst, you can W. So you're in double range, which you are. Or, worst case, she'll decide to back off and you E like this so you can zone Kalista. That's all what yeah. you need to do here. Because this... Where are you going? Oh, that walk forward. Oh, right? that's dead. Where are you going? <laughs> that's a bad step, yeah. I can't believe she didn't kill you. You're playing against such bad players. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Yeah. yeah. This Brom should never exactly. go here too. This is really boosted. And of course, yeah. Graves just ints it. Yeah, makes it look like him? I was a genius, yeah. Nice. That's what, I, that's what I mean by sometimes like I'm just winning these games and I feel like it's not me winning, it's them winning the game for me. And this is just a dumb death I see, I see. Yeah. this is a shutdown for him no let's see yeah. so you tried to escort so do you remember that play when you wanted to escort the wave yeah like when I said you wanted to escort remember that now he has ruby crystal boots cloth armor so he's tanky but if he doesn't have that he would be you see how much brom alone did right mm -hmm. and the minions so that that's how brom works and then here we just I see. I mean, it sucks. Um, yes, please. Well, like it's uh, like I mean, the death kind of sucks, but uh, I mean, he does flash to kill me at when I was resetting. I mean, obviously, no, this I is worth. Died, but, this is always worth yeah. because you yeah, had fast. You crazy. had fast move speed in base. It's eight seconds so exactly as you recall, and he wasted flash, which means he doesn't have flash hook on the next Graves gank when his win condition is Kalista. Yeah. So this is completely stupid kill. Right here, it's actually really good that you died. The thing is, I don't really like the dodges, like they're like kind of slow. Left, right, left, right. Mm. It's fine. I mean, maybe we're gonna talk another time about dodging. I don't think it's a big deal now. And then this buy is like really, really bad. This buy is really bad. The fact that you're getting so you damage. Just a tier two boots buy. Yeah, just tier two boots. And now here, the fact that you're pathing both. What are you doing both? The wave is fully crushed in the tower. Yeah, I just don't know where to go. Where do I go? Just do go I just towards go mid, mid see if something happens, and then it, then here, you're looking. Option number one, Lux is gonna push, and she will try to get vision, you hover her, either there or here. Option number two, if Kalista is pushing, you return to bot lane. Okay. Anything, but not, oh, let me stay here in lane and watch 
what Kalista will do well. Why? Just do something like with your time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just asked key in lane, to be honest. Yes, yes, yes. Like, look at this. Like, what yeah, can you this, do here? I, th I think this is actually where I just stand back and I, or maybe I get XP here. You know, I do get XP here. Yeah, but, but look, it was one of these now, games where I was. You just select autopilot? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be like, because realistically speaking, if Kalista is good, what is she going to do with this wave? Uh, I mean, she would just slow push it. Exactly. She's, she's fucking bad, this guy. She's fast pushing for what? Yeah, yeah, no reason. If she no has slow push, the guy has extra flash on, on like or... he has extra flash on Nautilus. Yeah. What is she doing? She's just griefing the game. And now you shouldn't be able to walk up ever when you don't have information about the Nautilus. And yeah, maybe Brom can stay with like zero mana, but I mean, it's always bad. And now look, Hex, this guy should go around, just go from here. And now you shouldn't be able to play the game. You should have been mid. Look, exactly what I said, right? She's going to get vision. You're going to hover. And then you're going to back, go back to bot. And guess what? If you make that play, they don't know you're here. And if you make that play, you have a word here. Because you hover lux. I saved the HP. Okay. <clears throat> well, you don't see that if he's coming. Because if, if you see him there, you W him, not the minion. And you use your E there, you see? So if you make the play of you going towards mid, you hover this lux. You will get vision. You go towards bot lane. You work this brush, and then you go in the lane. You see him coming, so you will have more time to back off. So now you don't even see him, and now you get chunked. And it's very bad because you're probably gonna be able to be dove like with grace. Yeah, I think I get like a really good play because they just throw it, but it's not. It's not. It was them giving me the play, not me. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like it's just because I'm slight. Like I'm not a mechanic. I'm not. Make a mechanical genius, but I think I'm better mechanically than this Callista, anyways. Oh, this was D4, right? It's on your smart. That's why people are yeah, playing yeah, like yeah. this. Ah, okay, and I think this Callista is like an Emerald one, Callista. Yeah. Just, the reason why this was a good one is because it was an Emerald, and I still managed to lose the game when I had 14 kills. That's why I. Uh... Yeah, the thing is, the thing is in this lane, right? Like, it don't, your goal is not to win the lane. Your goal is to be even. If you are even, even if it's a bronze player with Kalista, you won the lane. So you kind of have to figure it out. What is it that I want to achieve in the lane? Because in some matchups, you just have to be 0-0, zero, zero, you win. No matter if this guy is bronze or silver. So now you just have to be even, which you are right now. You are. So now you're trying to push. You're de-pushing this. You're trying to... I think, I think I'm trying to match her autos here. Good, that's good. That's very good. And then now they move. This is very bad that you're not following. Follow, 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 follow. Over, word over the wall. Danger, danger, danger. Ping. Diana needs to have consistent vision. Because now, the moment they go, you're SS pinging. And now she's checking the minimap. But if I'm jungle, I'm tilted because I want to know. Is Nautilus here? Yeah. Or is Nautilus here? Or is Nautilus here right here? Did he just left? I don't know. So you want to ping the severity of the gang. Like, where is he? Is he advanced here? Or is he just running? So, following. Use the use the word. Of course, this guy is also going to be like human and play with you. And he's going to go on the river. But then you either stay in the tower or just push. But push is just the best. So, now you try to start pushing. Then, perfect. This is good. I like that at least you're walking up to give vision. So, the fact that you're walking up like this to see if the Kalesta is like... Thing. This is good. I don't know if it was intentional, but this is good. And then now you try to go on the river. Very good word. See if you move your camera. Okay, this is a bit of a red flag. Like, why are you moving if you don't have a... Like, if the moment you move is because they need help or you want the kill. But in order for you to know these things, <clears throat> you need to look at the fight. So, yeah, when, when I when I see the Callista, like, I was going to move to follow. But then as soon as I see the Callista, I'm too scared to move because she'll just auto me auto me down. I see. So I just come back. I see. The problem is that, like, now, look at her. She's too far. If you go like this, you can easily do that. And you okay. can get a kill. So I would look at the fight, see what's going on. And you can just... I, would, I wouldn't even say you, can, you need to greed it. Because look at her. This is the range. I mean, maybe she can kill yeah. like this, but that's really well. So she can't get you. Plus, also, like, the way you play here is like, why are you hitting the word? She has no vision on you right now. She doesn't see you. The moment you hit the word, she sees you. So I'm going to go here, look at the fight, and then immediately move when she doesn't know I'm there. But the moment you hit the word, now you get vis she gets vision. So you're not playing this 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 properly. And then the camera control, the fact that you didn't even look there. Because maybe Graves was actually going like this towards Brom, and you can double him maybe over this wall. Okay, the push trigger yeah, was I very slow. Yeah, I, I thought about pushing this, and uh, like I, I was, th I remember thinking about it, and then I was like, oh wait, my team's in their jungle. I need to push this wave. That's, yeah, that's like what I thought. No, just I had like instantly. a split second where instantly. I don't push it. You'll see, and then it's yeah, yeah. So the thought did come to me. It just didn't that's come good. to me fast just enough. Just wasn't fast enough. Sure. 
And then let's see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna just stay for one more. Kalista recalled, so she's just like 10 15 seconds away. I don't think I get this plate, which is an int. I don't get the plate. Yeah, well, again, it depends, right? Because this plate is really free. Why? Is because it's one auto attack and you have a big wave. The problem is that you need to track the Kalista. If Kalista is yellow, it's really good. If Kalista is uh, pink it's really good if Kalista is blue it's okay but if Kalista is black it's never worth it because you might get stopped to over the wave too. what like if she's in the black area you're saying would yes. I lose the next wave as well if I base you lose everything if if she's right here or right here or right there you push you take the plate because I'm not saying you don't take the plate you take the plate but then yeah, there are two options worst one is Nautilus comes and kills you but this won't happen because let's say Nautilus and Kalista they come together. They walk up, they're like, okay, Jinx, you got the plate. You're gonna recall in the second tower right now. And you're gonna recall right there, and they will push the wave of, as, as the Nautilus stops you, and they will get minimum two plates. Minimum. So not only that you lose the plate, you lose everything. So here on like I should have get the plate, we need to see what is Kalista and what is Nautilus. So Nautilus just died. Okay, 831, he respawned. Let's see Kalista. We don't know where she is. We don't know where also, she is. Also, uh, if I would have instantly pushed this wave, it would have saved me like three seconds it or four save seconds. You a little so, bit, I yes. the plate. so look at this. So Nautilus should be right here. Kalista just respawned. You know that because you didn't see her in lane. So Kalista, we can easily expect her to be around this area from here easily. Nautilus, he's definitely a little bit more above like this. So after you push this right now, Kalista should be from here to here and Nautilus should be slightly above. So then the plate is really low and it's takeable. The problem is that with what cost? Because if Nautilus is like really close to Fargo, where I think this is like three seconds away from being in, in, in vision, you're going to get the plate, but then he's going to chase you in the brushes. So it's not worth to get the plate here in this case. Look, one, two, three, Nautilus is there. So you get the plate and then when you recall, he follows. You look at the Nautilus. Like yeah. you would have been right there. Just a little bit later, but it would matter. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you should not get the plate. But again, I want you, Teller, to track the recalls. Because this is how you make decisions in League. And then here, the, the way you buy is just horrible. Like this is completely shit item. You have 15 damage, attack speed, 15 physical damage. And you just buy 4% movement speed and 20 damage. When this gives you attack speed and damage. Pro players, yeah, they buy I mean, that first. Attack first so you, do you think the sorry the i mean boots would have been the best buy right well yes other than that of course let's say you have boots first because that's what you should have had. look at this they buy it first how p it is okay. if you can auto attack a lot like if a brom you can look a blitz like if you know you can good attack energy with brom as well hey yeah it's really good yes and you buy this item which gives you <laughs> it's just super useless super super useless okay so let's see <clears throat> okay I just want to, to get as much as possible. Maybe we can also look at the other game. So now you just have to play reactive. Just W, play safe. Like KDA wise is not bad. But it's like you won this lane. This is good what you're doing. Like it's... If I look at your KDA stats, gold is like really good what is happening. But it's like it's happen this is happening because they're just not punishing you at all. Like they're not doing anything. So let's see what yeah, that's, a, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's, that's exactly my point. Is sometimes I'm winning these games, but is it because I'm playing good or because they're just playing that bad? Obviously, I'm better than the, than them in the in this certain circumstance, but in the next game, I might not be. Yes, 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 exactly. Let's see what happens here. So you W, he hits that. Try to like go for the PTA. Super good, super good. Try to punish, and then Brom misses the Q. This is a big one. Okay, what should we be doing right now? What should we be using? Uh, well, my trap, my trap placement here is bad because I trap for the knot, but I should trap for the Callista. Yeah, but I just could trap also for shoot Callista. a W at her too. Yeah, well, if you shoot W, she can just tank it. She's gonna be slow, but she can anyways hit the brom. But if you trap like this, yeah. she can't really do much. She has to go around, yeah, yeah. or she has to stay here, but then she can't move. So I like, do trap. Five dollars. If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster, but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simple two-step process. Subscribe to my Patreon and share your OPGG and voila, you are on the waiting list. You're gonna get a personalized VOD review for any game in your match history. 
For just $5, you get not only the free VOD review, but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience. It's a small investment for a big return. And it's just $5, it's no brainer, right? But here is the deal, you've got to act quickly. The waiting list is already filling up fast. 55 people are already subscribed to the Patreon and there are 6 people that they are already are on board, they are on the waiting list. And more are joining every moment. Now, do you want to secure your spot for a free VOD review? Go ahead on my Patreon and reserve it right now.